Hey, Walking Dead fans. Okay, this video will be real short, I think, because I just want to initiate a discussion below in the comments. And this will be on Fear the Walking Dead Season 5. If you're not caught up to that, spoiler alert, I'll be talking about some of the stuff that's happened inside Season 5. Okay, so in Episode 1, they teased us with the three circles. I don't know if we're going to see any of that group anymore for a while. They sure did tease us, and we're, we'll be sticking close to the next few episodes to see. It may just be a tease that we may not see it for a while, but... Okay, here's the question that I want to uh, ask you guys, and then we can talk about it in the comments below. We know of this armored soldier walker thing uh, was thrown onto this uh, axle piece of a wheel of the plane wreckage. Was it a walker before, you know, before like the plane crash, really? Because the question is, how did this guy in the suit die if it was a regular soldier? It was obviously a walker when it came up on Al and grabbed her. It was growling. It was definitely a walker at that point. So we know that this one was a walker when it first came into the scene from the time we we seen it. And when she impaled it, it was already a walker at that point. That spike just kind of held it in place. And it didn't die. She came back that night and stabbed it in the head. But how did it die? And was it a real person? Are those real people in those um, armored outfits? The guy that picks up the camera and looks in the camera and stuns Al, was that a real person or a walker being controlled? Another question. The wires coming out of the suit, is that some kind of walker deterrent for a real live soldier? Or is it some way to control the walkers? If you guys seen my episode one review, I kind of was leaning towards the wires controlling the walkers, but then I did another video talking about the CRM and, and different things, and I kind of went toward the soldier theory. But you guys are definitely throwing both of those at me, and I just wanted to create a video, create a central discussion on that, uh, since we might not see the Three Circle people or learn any more about it for at least a few more episodes. We do have some good arguments both ways. My argument that it was just a soldier is... They're using stun guns, things like that. They're looking into the camera. And the guy that she impaled, he had maps and stuff. A key it looked like those clear cards with a key to the map or something like that. In like a, a little a pocket on his leg. Would a radio, say, controlled walker have that information on him? These soldiers also had knives and a walkie-talkie. So that's why by the, my second video, when I was talking about the CRM and things like that, I kind of leaned toward these are real people, soldiers in these outfits, um, how they see out the mask. I don't know uh, the visor. I don't know. And things like that. There's a lot of questions, but it just seems weird that if it was a walker controlled somehow by the uh, wires in the suit, something like that, probably shouldn't have a radio, uh, maybe a knife. But they can use a stun gun. If they can use a stun gun, they can use a knife. I don't know about a radio. That'd be kind of funny. Rawr, 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 rawr. I can't understand you. But those are the questions. Let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more dead stuff.